Researchers in the United States have developed a procedure which they hope could increase the availability of human donor organs. The scientists at Yale School of Medicine successfully restored blood circulation and other cellular functions in pigs an hour after the animals had died. It's hoped the new technology could also be used to improve heart attack and stroke treatments as well. Let's hear from one of the scientists behind the study, Dr. Zvonimir Vesalyi. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us. You're a research associate at the neuroscience at Yale School of Medicine. I think one <laughs> excitable newspaper I read uh, said this could be bringing patients back from the dead. It's not quite that, is it? But it's preventing or slowing down the destruction of cells. Is that correct? Okay, uh, yeah, so that's correct. Uh, what we have found out is that uh, not everything, not all cells are dead after one hour. Uh, and uh, we actually found out that we can intervene and maybe persuade those cells uh, to try to repair themselves. So, so how do you do that? And what is the time frame when it comes to the death of the, the pig, in this case, the animal? So uh, we basically built up device uh, and we call it ECMO on steroids. It's a perfusion device uh, that we connect to uh, the animal uh, and uh, so it, so it uh, mimics lungs, heart, kidneys and so on. And we also uh, made this uh, cell-saving blood uh, analog that we use to perfuse uh, the uh, animal. Uh, how long uh, it can go for like we did one hour, one hour. Uh, we did not try other uh, time points so far. And this is a um, this is something that's put into the animal's bloodstream, or does it target the brain in particular, which would presumably drive all these functions? So is it connected to the the brain and reoxygenates the blood as a result of that? Uh, so yes, the device is connected to the whole pig actually. So it uh, so and once it pushes uh, this fluid, it goes throughout the whole uh, body, including the brain. Okay. So, so so what are the potential human applications for what you have now tested, discovered? So the main point actually that we are trying to uh, achieve is uh, to increase organ availability availability for for transplantation. So that's basically why we decided to take organs that were dead for one hour and try to recover them. And then, you know, subsequently, we need to do more tests. But uh, once it's uh, perfected, uh, to use this in humans and maybe I'll uh, in increase the uh, number of organs in like kidneys, uh, livers and so on. OK, and, and worldwide, uh, how many people at any one time are waiting for organ donations, organ transplants, who, who die because they just physically don't materialize? Uh, so just the, in the in United States, there, there is currently, I think, around 115,000 uh, people waiting for organs, and this number keeps on going up. So uh, there's an organ shortage that's real, and it's getting bigger uh, uh, as the time goes. And you've been doing this work on pigs. Has it been moved into human trials or other animal trials yet? No, so we have done it uh, in pigs. Uh, this was a proof of principle study, uh, sort of uh, end of the episode one, as we like to say. And uh, so now we are planning to conduct next study in which we uh, are going to try to transplant these organs in animals uh, and see how functional uh, they are. OK, I mean, obviously exciting developments, but there will be many people uh, who are against vivisection, for example, and uh, the ethical uh, treatment of pigs in, in these experiments. I mean, is that something that you try and mitigate? Uh, uh, that's a great point. Uh, yes. So we were really care uh, careful how we conducted this research uh, and we have taken steps to make sure that uh, these uh, pigs are not suffering. Uh, it, it, uh, actually, we made multiple steps to ensure that these pigs don't be uh, become uh, conscious. So they were always anesthetized, although they were dead. Uh, we cooled them down and we also had uh, blockers uh, from uh, that would prevent uh, brain from firing. So we we had multiple steps in place uh, that made sure that these uh, animals would not suffer. OK. Uh, Zvonimir Vesalia, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on BBC World News.
Thank you so much.